the opportunity came for me to be a, a heel. As I turned into a heel, and I began to sort of go on this journey of who this character, this gimmick would be, it just continued to grow. And it certainly unleashed in me this, I don't know, this side of where I could just go out there and do absolutely anything. But it came out through, uh, honestly, through drugs and alcohol. It was the only way that I had the ability to show any type of personality other than the shy, quiet kid. Continuing to go to Bible study, and she's just changing, and I don't know, no, she, there's just something about her as all this is going on. She's not pushing me. He leads me in the sinner's prayer and I just weep like a baby. This feeling comes over me that it's like, it's over. They discipled me. I, I mean, my, my life was never, it's never been the same. And it, 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 you know, I've never touched another drug. It's so funny, I came home. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's the greatest thing ever. I'm driving home. I, I come in the door. I said, honey, I know what it is. It's Jesus. I'm saved. And I tell her everything that happened. She looked at me and she goes, I and of course, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I thank you, my King, for saving me. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be bolted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. The name of the Lord thy God only be glorified.